Please welcome Marvell's Executive Vice President Optical, Loy Nguyen. My name is Loy Nguyen. I'm Executive Vice President and General Manager of Marvell Optical Group. Marvell is a leader in data center infrastructure for cloud data center, 5G, enterprise, and automotive. We have been a member of OCP for about 10 years. Our work at, with OCP spans a whole gambit of optics, connectivity, computing, storage, and security. And for me, I've been working in optics for the past some 20 some years. Prior to Marvell, I was co-founder of Infi. And Marvell and Infi has been credited for leading the transition of uh, data transmission from NRZ to PAM, and also f to transition from the telecom transport big boxes to a pluggable WDM optics that connects data center to data centers. Super excited to be here to talk to you, to all of you, uh, and share with you how optics has enabled AI. <clears throat> And, and the challenges that Optic will, will need to do in, in the future uh, to support AI. So let's begin. <music> 10 years from now, when we look back, I think most of you will agree with me that 2023 is the new beginning of AI. The world will be very different 10 years from now. Just in the last few months alone, so much that has happened. And let's take a look. Well, that's a lot, isn't it? It's hard to believe that all these things just happened just in the last six months. So the implication is, what will it change the data center for tomorrow? One thing we know for sure is data centers have to be larger and consume more power. A typical data center today consumes about 32 megawatts of power. The data center of tomorrow, in fact, they're bu being built today, will consume one gigawatts. And one gigawatts is the output power of, say, a typical nuclear power plant and can power 100,000 homes in, in, in a developed society. It's humongous. Furthermore, a campus or region will need to consume not only gigawatt, but multi-gigawatts. As data centers are getting larger and further apart, you need more and more optics. High-speed optics. High-speed optics is what enable the scale out of data centers. On your left is what we call the scale up model. In a scale-up model, memory, GPU are being added to an AI server. And all of the added memory will work with the AI server as a single GPU. Today, that limit is about, say, a few hundred GPU. And, and the AI computer being connected this way can deliver up to about one exaflop, which is humongous amount of computing power. However, that is actually pale in comparison 
to the scale out model, which is on your right. In the scale out model, AI server are being added in parallel, one by one, via high capacity switches, uh, high bandwidth network optics. And in theory, you can scale to 10,000 GPU or limitless, as long as you have enough space, enough power, enough bandwidth, and low enough latency. But you know, the reality is not. Bandwidth is limited. Switching is limited. So, so today, the largest AI cluster that can be built with the current switches and optic is roughly in the order of tens of thousands of GPU. And the performance of these clusters in the future can approach hundreds of exaflops, which is humongous. Because of that, large AI clusters spans hundreds of meters, thousands of meters, and data, data need to traverse this network in a single iteration. We estimate that that distance for in a single iteration can be as much as 10 kilometers in a single iteration. A large training model, a workload, may take hundreds of thousands of iterations. So data needs to traverse as much as 10 million miles. I know many of you in this room are frequent flyers. I am. Most of us don't fly 10 million miles over our lifetime. But you can, you can see the problem. Now, because of that, the network is now the new bottleneck. For AI to be the scale up to hundreds of exaflops, you need high speed optics. You need bandwidth, you need low latency, and you need high capacity switches. The demand for band, bandwidth for optic will explode over the next three years. Estimate by vary from 100% Kager to whatever the number. Uh, we, we use a somewhat more conservative number, 78% 70, Kager growth in bandwidth, or six times in three years. When I share this data with my friends at some of the hyperscale, they told me that, Lord, you're, you, you're way conservative. This, this could even more. So we'll see. So there has always been a race to develop higher, higher speed optics. I remember we were so excited when 40 gigabit got deployed in some time in 2014. That was 10 years ago. Early this year at OFC, Marvell and our ecosystem partner live demo a 1.6 terabit optical module. 1.6 T, that's 40X over, over the course of 10 years. The industry is also doing a pretty decent job in reducing the power per bit. So over the course of 10 years, the power per bit has, reduced, has been reduced by a factor of 10, roughly, not, not quite. Uh, but that's not enough, as you, as you can see the math. 40x increase in bandwidth, 10x reduction in power per bit. Net net is that the power of optic module has increased every single generation in absolute term. And that creates a, a problem. One of the other matrix that, 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 that we often use is what is a networking power as a percentage of computing power. For traditional cloud server, it was in a low single digit percentage, not a problem, not a problem. For AI, the, the equation changes. For a, say a 1K GPU clusters, the networking power is about 5% of the compute power. And, and I'm talking about bare bone networking power only including the power in the switches, in the optics, without any cooling or anything, or any support structure. It's 5% today, already. But as you grow to a cluster to, say, 4K GPU, that percentage has risen from 5% to about 
12% is significant, and I'll show you why. Recently, Meta announced the plan to build a 32K GPU clusters. So I was intrigued. So, so I was in Scotland for the uh, uh, ECOC conference. We, we sketched out how to build this 32K GPU clusters. We need at least three layers of switches, at least. And, and even using over subscription, seven to one at the top layer. The reason for that is because there, there isn't a switch big enough today. There's nothing to be able to connect 32K GPU together, any to any non-blocking. So you have to use over subscription at the top. And even now, even now, the number of switches is staggering, over 2,000 switches. And we're not talking about top of rack here anymore. We're talking about, you know, at the spine and the aggregation layer, big switches. 4K of server, 40, 70K of optics, and this plus clusters will consume 45 megawatts of power. Just think about it, 45K megawatt of power, more than a typical power in a data center today. And previously, I showed you networking power is a 12% of 45 megawatt, and that's a 5.4 megawatts. So, so clearly, that, that is a very big number. So, so we at Marvell, we believe in open ecosystem. From the start of the company, we always work with different organizations to create open standards. We are working with other component vendors, our competitors. We're working with many competitors, actually, and module partners, uh, OEM, uh, hyperscale providers, and users to build this optics ecosystem. Today, it is a $10 billion open ecosystem, very, very strong, uh, with, uh, with uh, many vendors who can scale up to millions of pieces per year. And, and I have confidence that this ecosystem will be able to scale up to the challenge for AI tomorrow. High bandwidth, low latency, and low power. Personally, I'm going to do everything I can to reduce power of optics, because that's something that I have some control over. We will see less than 10 picojoules per bit in the next few years. So with that, I'd like to conclude my talk. But before I do that, I, we've been doing a lot of investment to support AI. So, so my question is, what will AI do for us? I don't know who to ask, so I turned to ChatGPT. I said, what are you going to do for us, humanity? And ChatGPT, you know, very diplomatic. Well, we can't really say anything with precision, but we have a few suggestions we can offer. So please take a look. They don't talk to whale. And travel to Mars. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. And I wish you a great OCP Global Summit. Thank you.